Friday from the prayer chair. It's a beautiful Friday. I hope you have a chance to get outside today. and If not during the day, to go outside at night. If the sky is clear right now, if you look in the east after dark, you'll see a wonderful uh, kind of orange light in the sky, and that would be Mars. And if you look to the south, you'll see a bright white light. That's Jupiter. And to the left, and um, slightly above, you'll see Saturn. So you can see Mars and Jupiter and Saturn when the sky is clear. So I hope you have a chance to do that. But um, that's not my main point today. I want to talk about a couple of opportunities coming our way this, this coming week. Sunday, St. Paul's is inviting us and anybody really uh, to participate in some discussions about the future of our churches. Change is coming. We all know that the pre-COVID world uh, that many of us loved is going to be changed when COVID is over. And that's true of churches as well. And not all the changes are bad. In fact, there are some exciting new opportunities. So uh, for the next three Sundays, coffee hours over at St. Paul's will be focusing on the idea of a hybrid church. That our post-COVID church will not be necessarily uh, entirely in person, but will be a combination, a hybrid of online and in-person participation. And technology is making it easy for people to participate on an equal footing, whether they're actually in the church building for worship or participating from home. Um, I saw a quote from somebody who is uh, part of a church that's going in a hybrid direction, and she was, she was not able to attend church, and she said, I finally don't feel like a second-class citizen because I can't get to the church building. I can be equal with the people who are there. So uh, the, the technology that is making all this possible is um, rapidly developing and coming down in price and, critical for us, becoming easier to use. So I will be attending these sessions because I want the best possible future for St. Thomas. And uh, we will uh, have our, our usual um, coffee hour, but I would like to invite um, as many of us as possible to head over to St. Paul's. Um, you'll need a computer, uh, preferably Chrome. They are meeting on AirMeet. And we'll be sitting at virtual tables. You'll be able to see who's at the table so you can sit with other people from St. Thomas if you choose. So that's one opportunity. A second opportunity is on Thursday, I am offering um, a Zoom session called Bridging the Political Divide with Parker Palmer. And I don't know if you've read or listened to Parker Palmer, but he's, he's a very wise Christian leader, and um, I've taken this little course that he's put out for free on Church Next, and there's a little video segments, and then we talk for a while, and a little more video, a little more talking. I got a lot out of it, and, um, you know, it's really tough when our family and friends in particular are uh, thinking very differently from the way we look at things, and and there's so much acrimony and anger. And, uh, this little uh, session that we're doing on Thursday, I hope it's going to be helpful. It was to me to help me to walk uh, with grace and in peace in these times of division. So two opportunities for you online, one on Sunday, one on Thursday. And um, I wish you every blessing for your weekend and look forward to seeing you online.